Welcome to Accelerate Arvind. To start with, why don't you just introduce Inmobi to us? Thank you for having me here, Sandeep. Inmobi is one of the largest mobile marketing and advertising platforms. We operate at the intersection of consumers using their cell phones, advertisers, and app developers. Let's talk about technical challenges. Let me just answer that in form of numbers. Users is upwards of a billion. Load is upwards of a million requests a second. Time to process a single request is 100 milliseconds. And advertisers is around 30,000. Wow. Let's get into specific in terms how you technically went about solving for it. Let's start with consumers. There are a billion of those who are using apps. And you have this entire request volume that's entering our entire Azure solution. It's entering through the load balancer and it's hitting our ad server. That's a bunch of microservices that happens to be running on AKS. For performance reasons, we do go and use Azure Redis as a caching service, in addition to in-memory caching that's running inside the microservices. That's on the consumer side. On the advertiser side, you have the advertisers who are using the order management system. You can think of that as a classical web application wherein the advertisers come in, punch in their orders, bids, whatnot, which is getting stored in an RDBMS. Uh, Azure SQL Server is what we use. It happens to be a great choice. And you have information that's flowing in from the Azure SQL Server all the way into the ad serving system, and it's getting cached at both the Redis layer and also in the in-process stores that exist within the containers. How do we ensure the right ad gets delivered to the right consumer? The ad server needs to know something unique about each of these billion users. And what better place to store that than Cosmos DB, right? So Cosmos DB here acts as that database that lets us store data at scale and meet those read and write latency requirements to be able to deliver personalized ads back to the consumer. You mentioned about personalization, right? How do we ensure relevance of these ads being served in the ever-evolving mobile economy? We do have a large ML AI-based system here that's constantly observing what happened in each transaction that's going out from the ad server back to the end users. So that data is getting captured from the ad server and it's reaching the feedback system. And this feedback loop is constantly running. So if you come into the system a month from now, it has learned some more about the end users and the relevance has gone up by a little bit more. How has Azure made your journey easier uh, while you did this? So Inmobi has been in business much before public clouds were a thing. And the easy part, by the way, without clouds is the hardware. The hard part is the software. You know, let's take, for example, AKS. Kubernetes is a great technology, but if you had to install and manage your own Kubernetes, that's another hard problem because you have durability requirements that's very, very hard to meet. And the kind of durability SLAs that Azure offers, that's very hard to do it by yourself. Fundamentally managed services you know, takes away a huge burden and distraction and we can focus on running our business. So what's next? You probably have the best reference implementation in place. What next? Sure, I think we did speak of the feedback systems and the role of ML and AI. Now we're trying to see if Azure can solve for the entire ML lifecycle. So how do you again use these technologies to make ML and AI accessible for everyone? So that is the piece that we are looking at very keenly. And hopefully in a few months from now, Azure ML becomes the way we run most of our feedback systems. Arvin, thank you so much for sharing all the architecture details. This is truly a classic implementation of what you guys have done in Mobi. So thanks once again for joining me at Accelerate, and thanks for watching.